Hello everyone, welcome to Why, What and How. First of all, I really want to thank you all for passing by, spending your time here and watching this video. Why reading stories to our kid is important? Yes, this is my topic today. As parents, we all want to raise kids who are smart and focused. We do a lot of things for them, but we are not getting any positive results because we forget to put time and effort to keep them mentally and emotionally strong. The research has found that reading to kid is one of the most important activity for kids development. So I will be sharing very important points with you all that will really help you out in development of your kids. So stay till the end. Do you know stories play a vital role in the growth and development of kids? Yes, kids reading skills are important to their success in school, work and life in general. Whether it's a novel or short fairy tales, before bed, reading aloud can benefit your child's life. How? Alright, it will improve language skills. It will develop a special bond with your child. It will improve imagination and creativity in them. It will increase their concentration and discipline. And yes, it will cultivate love of reading. It will help improve their cognitive skills. Actually, the ability to think and understand. You can say construction of thought process. Now the question may arise, when to start and when should I stop reading to my kid? So, storytelling is not bound by any age. Read, narrate to your infant. Use a bit of expression, sound, dramatics. See how your kid is responding. You will be amazed. Between age 1 to 5, Storytelling is a tool to teach them basic concepts. You know, toddlers who have been exposed to storytelling have been found to be more expressive, social and higher IQ level. Above age 5 to 7, by this time they develop their own reading habits. But we need to encourage them. So, the answer to the question, what is the right age to start telling story to kid? So my answer is now. Whether the kid is infant or a teenager, take 10 minutes to tell a story or talk about a story. Now the question might be, what types of books you should consider for your kids? So kids go through different stages of development over the years. Let's talk about the kids who are in the age group 1 to 3. So board books are very good for them. They are made of uh, thick paper boards. They have a glossy finish to withstand wear and tear with colorful images. Now the kids who are in age group 3 to 8, picture books are really good. You can sit with them and read play an equally important role as the text so you can read the story aloud third is folklore books folklore awakens children's myth related development they contain myths they teach kids about different experiences and various cultures based on historical event or theme they aim to equip younger generations to face the world actually better by passing down knowledge in the form of stories. Next one is fairy tales. Fairy tales are stories that have magical nature about them like giants, witches, prince, princes, dwarfs, fairies, etc. And typical features of these books. So these are really amazing books. Poetry books. These have rhyming words. They develop awareness of phonemes. Next is information-based books. 
These are non-fiction books written about the topics that children normally have interest in. So these are some books you can consider based on their age group. Conclusion is reading to your child is an excellent way to bond with them. Do it. They are equipped with the information above you can buy the relevant book to which your child correlate with. I created this video to share this useful information to more and more parents. If you find it informative and engaging, please subscribe, share your valuable comments as well. It really means a lot to me. Thanks again. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.